Welcome to VTOP10 In today's video we're counting down the 10 Jeff Merrick Vilmall or Fennec best knockouts. Number 10. Jeff Fennec vs Tyle Lanu Tova. On November 18, 1995, Fennec beat Tyle Lanu Tovar by TKO at 2.31 in round 8 of 10. With quicker punches but the, the stronger left jab. Good right hand over the top from Fennec by Calvin Grove. Mind you, when they uh, drew with Nelson in there, Tovar is one of those honest journeyman kind of fighters who will always be in demand in the opponent role, I'm sure. It's a decent combination from Fennec. Anything like a Roberto Duran in this fight, not so far anyway. Fennec had his gloves up quite high earlier on presented that is another of his nicknames well oh, good right hand that one from Fennec but he did walk on to a couple of him himself yes this is more like the old Fennec he's prepared to trade with a good barrage of punches there oh right uppercut was a cruncher didn't Tovar take that out? oh good right hand again from Fennec he's got through with a lot in this round journeyman this Tovar look at his bloodied around the face as well now he's beginning to look in a bad way I think the referee thing to him he says if he doesn't punch back I think the inference was there if you don't start punching back I'm going to stop it yeah, I think the referee can tell now that he's hurt the body punches are starting to take their toll and the referee does stop it he doesn't want to see any more good stop number nine Jeff Fennec versus John Cobb Hen. On January 19, 1991, Fennec beat John Cobb-Hen by TKO at 120 in round 4 of 10. Parte final del primer round va a ser sin duda una muy necesaria para un hombre de primerísimo nivel, para un campeón. Ahí está atacando Fennec, abierto con golpes de ambas manos sobre la cara de su rival, una gran velocidad Fennec. Está imponiendo el ritmo, metió dos manos muy duras. La pelea va tomando color cuando nos aproximamos al final del primer round. Y además, claro, por razones horarias, siendo un enorme interés por ver a Fénes de Australia. Fénes con esa izquierda y otra vez repite esa mano. Metió una mano izquierda para haber oído lo del público, sino también para poder medir sus posibilidades futuras. Qué buena derecha y otra vez repitió esa mano. Y otra izquierda más. Mejor Fénix ahora desbordando en base al ritmo y a la velocidad que impone durante la pelea. Exagerado. Está ganando por tres, pero son distintos criterios. Ahí comienza a meter las manos con dureza Fénix. Atención. Una serie de manos muy duras. Está buscando un respiro Calvain que está sentido. Otra derecha más. Y ahí está metiendo una mano durísima sobre la cara del canadiense. El ritmo, el vigor de Fénix que intenta terminar la pelea. Izquierda ahora en forma ascendente. Y trabaja como si fuera la bolsa. Realmente con absoluta facilidad. Ya no responde el canadiense. Y el árbitro de la pelea. Number 8. Jeff Fennec vs. Steve McCrory. On July 18, 1986, defending IBF Bantamweight title Fennec beat Steve McCrory by TKO at 141 in round 14 of 15. By swings, left handers. Now McCrory working Fennec into a corner and ripping away to the body, but Fennec comes off the ropes. Uh, Jeff is trying to get his range still. I'm just hoping that he doesn't put two going the distance. And I was also very pleased to see Shane Knox win. There was a telling right hand. In close, Phoenix uppercutting. Trying to finish the American off. Trying to get him wobbling, but the American's staying in close. Walks up to him, backs him up to the ropes, and works hard to the body. By far the, the most telling puncher to the two. And there's a fusillator blows from Phoenix and the American to give ground. Good combination of punches by Jack Phoenix. McCory's trying to hold on it, will not let up. If he's got his man hurt, he will be there. Fennec's right on top here in this 12th round. And he's calling the shots. The American stepping very deeply into his, into his tracks now. 
Uh, he's looking very ordinary here, McGrory, and I'll have to watch him very closely. Yeah, I think the referee's considering that now he goes down. Right, I'll get you on. He's almost look all right. He's not, he's not pleased. But I think he's just worn out. He's worn out, yes. This is where the 15 rounds are starting to find him out. That might be the end of it. And Jeff Fennick is the winner. Number 7. Jeff Fennick versus Tyrone Downs. On August 12, 1988, defending WBC featherweight title Fennec beat Tyrone Downs by TKO at 107 in round 5 of 12. It's bad, we'll get up close to it in between the rounds. Fennec's chasing Downs around the ring now. Left to Tyrone Downs, who, there's a swinging right from Downs and he's going to mix it with Fennec, he's not willing to walk away. But Fennec's getting caught as he comes out. If he stands there toe to toe like he's going now, Fennec goes into the right. A great punch, and now Tyrone Downs in trouble, but he hangs on for dear life. He's hands free. The hip, Tyrone Downs. That's a good left by Fennec. He's getting the left going and the right over the top. Fennec is completely in control now. There's no doubt about it. It's a matter of when now. The drama has gone out of it. Now, after two rounds, that he'll never forget. Great right from Fennec. Underneath he goes, the champion. He's foe now. In oh, right yeah. now. Oh, he's stopped that. Yeah. 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 24 yeah. seconds to go. Jeff Fennec after him. Yeah, he wins another punch. Round four. Jeff Fennec has got him on the run. Down 16 down. seconds. He's 16. Won him. He's not going to have the time in this round. Round four. As he peppers the round down. In the corner, chasing him, the shoulders. What a great comeback by Fennec. And down he goes. He's down. He's down. And Fennec. And uh, what can he do, Tyrone Oh, down. and back to the body. Oh, oh what a body punch. Tyrone Downs can stay away from Jeff Fennec. Yes, but this is but the can difference. he do it for 12 rounds? Yes, but this is the difference. Downs went down again. Down again. That, that's got to be the end of it. That's over. Jeff Fennec in round five. Number six. Jeff Fennec versus Greg Richardson. On July 10, 1987, defending WBC Super Bantamweight title Fennec beat Greg Richardson by knockout at 129 in round 5 of 12. In this round. No, he looks strong. Oh, yeah, not a lot of punches laid in that second oh. round, but Jeff's going. In. Yes, Jeff, Jeff getting on top here in this third round. The left and right. Hand right. Hand. He's got this guy hurt. Richardson is holding on. He'll be warned. To... Not left Jeff. Ooh. Get over top of another big right hand from Jeff Finney. Richardson trying to punch back and does well. Now Jeff can't. This guy is a good right hand. To roll up. And he got hit right hand. Right hand. And Jeff Fennig is all over, he's in real trouble, real trouble. Fennig was going to hit him on the way down, Richardson will get back up though. He's cut, he's badly cut over the left eye. And if his sec gets into the ring, the fight's over, he better get out of the ring. Number 5. Jeff Fennec vs. Mike Juarez. On March 9, 1996, Fennec beat Mike Juarez by TKO at 2.06 in round 2 of 12. Fennec's hurting him. Juarez already, Alan. Yes, he's flinching every time he cop Nahar, Nebraska to fight here at the Melbourne Tennis Centre in Victoria. Oops, right hand did it. Well, I hope he can get through the round. He has, he's made it through the round. This guy's fought it lightweight and he's no match for Jeff. Straightened up. Round the back. And he's pushed him down. With the uh, ferociousness that he has. The right hand got him again. For a split decision loss to a world champion at lightweight. Being overpowered by a junior lightweight. Oh, that's right. Right hand. One 
more right hand over the top. There he went downstairs, Juarez. Uh, Benic to Juarez. So strong, Alan. Just put him in that corner with these. Oh! Oh, he just doesn't know what to do, Juarez. It's all over. They've come at him. Benic's come. Left hand again. Left hand away. So, we're coming to the conclusion. The right hand. That's it. It's all over. Number 4. Jeff Fennec versus Osmar Vila. On December 11, 1987, Fennec beat Osmar Vila by knockout at 0.56 in round 1 of 10. And the man in the middle is Billy Miles, despite the controversy this week. And Jeff Fennec, of course, wearing the green and gold trunks once more. Osmar Vila fighting from the red corner and wearing the red trunks. Yes, he's shaping up softball too. Uh, right hand forward. So uh, it's going to be an interesting bout here. It's important to Jeff because this guy is rated 10th in the world WBC. And uh, it's a rated fighter, a rated, a rated featherweight that, that Jeff is going against. And uh, it's going to just decide how he's going to go in the featherweight ranks. Well, an interesting thing for people to watch for as this fight unfolds is that Avila can switch. He is ambidextrous. He can switch and fight with either hand. And we see him coming out of the southpaw stance at the moment. He may switch at any stage. He's done it before in his career. A career spanning 43 fights, and he's down in the oh, first round. There was, a, there was a body punch. There was a body punch. We'll see the body punch on the replay. We'll see the body punch on the replay. There was a body punch that went in. Very disappointing. Number three, Jeff Fennec versus Satoshi Shingaki. On April 26, 1985. Fennec beat defending IBF bandanweight title Satoshi Shingaki by TKO at 2.43 in round 9 of 15. And, uh, good ride into the body from Fennec was a good scoring punch. And that is the referee uh, Bruce McTavish stands a long way away from him. over towards Shinyaki's corner, spins around. Shinyaki's defense holds. Fennec's got a right through, it's a good punch. Right. And now Fennec goes after Shinyaki. Shinyaki got him low and Fennec didn't like it at all, no he should. He just stands his ground. Phoenix hitting with three and four right hands. Please, how much longer is this going on? Oh, and from Phoenix. That stood him up. On the break, McTavish got him to break them and Phoenix cut him loose. He stopped it. Phoenix is the new world champion. The Number two. Jeff Phoenix versus Victor Callejas. On March 7, 1988, Fennec beat Victor Callejas by TKO at 1.21 in round 10 of 12 and won vacant WBC featherweight title. The left is a punch that uh, very high, higher than usual. It's early rounds, Ron, he can't drop those both. Oh, great great point point. by Jeff Fennec. And that certainly stung the corner. Route. Out of 19 for nothing either. He's, uh, he's a right good, 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 good left here. Good. Not always going for the head, he relies a lot on body punch. And Fennec has Victor Kalaitis above our. It can certainly have it with spades. A great left by Fennec. He's got him on the move now. That's really something. It certainly is. And he's. Oh, one, two. What a beautiful one, two. Oh, and he's down. He's down. He's down. Okay. Oh, Fennec, a left there. And down it goes. And certainly well on top. Kalaitis now on the back pedal. He's in real trouble. So at this moment, he's run over by a. a He now throws him around. Knockout, uh, knockouts in final rounds. Oh, yes. That's the punch that'll start the lot. A big leg top from Fennig. Fennig is trying to... His left eye is puffed up. I think he's going to cut somewhere over that right. And uh, his face is looking like, well, the old pack of booty. It certainly is. And uh, Jeff Fennig and Victor oh, Gillespie. Yes. Good left by Jeff Fennig. And uh, he's again into Victor Gillespie. up against the ropes. There's the body punch. That goes... Uh, it's all over. It's all over. Number one, Jeff Fennec versus Samar Payakurun. 
On June 8, 1987, Fennec beat defending WBC Super Bantamweight title Payakarun by knockout at 2.42 in round 4 of 12. Just that you see uh, a replay of that uh, knockdown. Oh, beautiful, Jeff. Kind of ferocious aggression that I don't think Sam Rat's going to be able to take. A big right hand there from Jeff Fennick. He has Sam out in the corner. But the crowd is erupting. Fennick has got Parker in the corner and in a lot of trouble. I said he won't go down, but he will. Parker in desperate trouble. Left and right hands from Fennick to the body, then to the head. He's going back against the ropes. He's hitting him with everything. Thirty seconds to go in the round. We're in for an early night. If Jeff Fennick keeps us up, Parker Roon is in all sorts of trouble. Say good night, some. As we know, Jeff doesn't possess a one-punch knockout, but he does wear boxes down. He's hitting him here with enough to wear a brick wall down. I think they're going to have to watch Samat's head. Samat's getting very free with the head. But oh, Payaka is just standing there and letting Fennec hit him. Well, the only thing that's getting Jeff Fennec tired is throwing pushing, punches. Stop Another warning there to Fennec to stop pushing. He's hitting Fayek around at will now. The tie, the tie boxer is down. It's He's out. Over. He's finished. It's yeah. over. Fennec is the winner. Fennec is the world champion. Fayek around is finished. Yeah. Jeff Fennec. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.